story time. I didn't know the name. All I could distinctively remember was how it made me feel. The Search for a Mystery Song by Carlos Palenza Jr. When I was eight years old, my uncle Sergio allowed my sisters and I to his entire CD collection. He taught us how the disc rotated in his big stereo and we could listen to any of the discs as long as we put them back where they belonged. I came across an anthology disc, likely one that featured hits of the 70s and 80s. Oh, I know that song. I've heard it before. I glimmered with joy. I didn't know what the word said because I was just learning English for the first time that year. All I could remember was that I had heard the song before. From my father, yes, my father. My tío's older brother had for sure a copy of it in one of his cassette tapes. And the repetition of plays had stayed in my memory, but more importantly, in my heart. So every time I went to Abuelita's and Tio's house, I'd grab that CD and play none but this song, track number 13 of a two disc set. And I'd hum along and ooh. And progressively I picked up words, then phrases, then stumbled through verses. Do you feel the same? I'd sing. Well, 1995 turned into 2009, and I didn't hear the whole song for 14 whole years. As if the song had sunk to the bottom of the vast ocean floor. I knew it was there. I just didn't know the coordinates of, or, or how to find it. I know the song I listen in Theo Sergio's room is out there. But gosh, if only I could just know the name. I can only distinctively remember how it made me feel. I mop my brain searching for clues. Do you hear my heart beating? I'd struggle to convince myself if that was a line. I think so. I'd say to myself for 14 years. The night I rediscovered the song was a night much like tonight. I was then about to go into my senior year of college. It was summer, of course. Everything good happens in the summer. I pulled into the drive of my spacious Georgia home my parents bought two summers ago. I came back home late at night from a night out, a sweet summer night out, and mom always left the porch light on for me. I pushed the stick into parking, and before rotating the car, engine, and FM radio off, I heard something. Just like Robert Ballard spotted scattered artifacts and then the rusted and dormant bow in 1985, my ears glimmered with joy and I had found my Titanic again. The calm and metronomic eighth notes of bars on a synthesizer piano that blossomed into melodic strings Set the tone. Oh, I know that song. I've heard it before. I thought gleefully, likely in my eight-year-old voice again. And I was moved. I ran home and Google searched the lyrics. I now could remember and command. Eternal flame. I savored the title with ownership and possession and now I held onto it so tightly I could never forget it. I got to see the Bengals perform it live last year and I knew the name and I knew how it made me feel and I was thankful. The end. <laughs>